In this Abacus video tutorial, I'll be showing you how to process a refund, how to reprint a receipt, and also how to delete a paid order. To get to order history, I'll tap the drop down menu and then select order history. We'll start with processing a refund. To process a refund, just tap the three dots next to the order that you want to refund. Now tap the blue refund button. Here you can select all of the items from the order that you want to refund individually, or you can refund the entire order by tapping select all. Here I'll refund using cash. For the refund, I'll enter wrong order as an example. Now that I've entered the reason, I'll tap the red refund button. Now we'll be prompted to print a refund receipt. I'll print it now. Next, I'll show you how to reprint a receipt for a paid order. Just tap the three dots next to the order and then tap receipt. The receipt will now print out. Now I'll show you how to delete a paid order. To do this, just tap the three dots next to the order and then tap the red delete button. You'll be prompted to confirm. I'll tap yes here. Now we must enter a reason for the deletion. I'll enter wrong order as an example. Now I'll tap delete. The order history screen will keep a log of all of the sales that have been put through. You can filter through these by searching for an invoice number here and also using the date filter. Here you can also filter for orders taken on different iPads. You can filter for different order types and you can also filter for different tender types. The green icon here means that the order has been sent to the server and is synced. Anytime you see a red icon, it means the order hasn't been synced to the server and is only stored locally. To push the order to the server, just tap the push orders to server button at the top right of the screen. You can see now that all orders are synced.